Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. A state audit found serious security risks at the State College of Florida. Investigators discovered sensitive student and employee data could be at risk of getting into the wrong hands. We're talking about stuff like bank accounts and social security numbers. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from SCF in Manatee County to explain this whole problem. John? Good evening, Jen. It certainly could have been a problem. The report found that there were IT workers who were not given proper background checks and they had access to very sensitive information. An alarming discovery was made during an audit of the State College of Florida. Auditors found four contracted IT workers were not given proper background checks. And these workers had access to very sensitive data, like student names and social security numbers, and even employee bank account information. Uh, it concerns me greatly. The audit concluded that if this isn't fixed, then someone with bad intentions could get a hold of this information. Students are understandably worried. We don't know who we're giving this information to. And that really does make me personally uncomfortable. I mean, that could actually ruin someone's life. The school explained to auditors that the checks were not done because these IT contractors were off campus and only worked for a short amount of time. But they quickly worked to solve the problem. And an official released this statement to aid on your side. The college has updated our procedures to ensure that all contractors specific to this finding will complete the necessary background checks. Students tell us they give this data to the school with the faith that it will be handled properly. They're thankful that this has been resolved. I feel way more reassured uh, that future students and other future workers here will be more safe from this type of situation. And the school did emphasize that they did provide proper background screenings for 970 employees and contractors and volunteers. And uh, now with these findings, they've improved their procedures and they'll make sure that this never happens again. Jen? All right, John Rogers, live in Manatee County. Thanks, John.